There are many pretty birds out in the world, and some possess many fine abilities. They are also considered harmless creatures to everyone, probably even the last creatures on the list of most dangerous animals, but that just might be very wrong. Some birds can be really aggressive and capable of even killing. This goes to show that birds did evolve from a group of meat-eating dinosaurs called theropods. Some of these ancestral traits might just be lingering. From the fearless horned owls to the deadly cassowaries, here are 20 dangerous birds that you should run away from. Number 20. Bald Eagles Ah, the bald eagle, the symbol of America. This species is the only eagle species that are exclusively native to the United States. Sadly, it's on the endangered species list, but conservation efforts have seen a return of the species to the wild. The bald eagle is actually a subspecies of sea eagles. which are eagles that inhabit areas around lakes and rivers where they nest and hunt for food. Among their particular subspecies, the male bald eagle is the smaller of the two, measuring around 3 feet in length from head to tail, with a wingspan that is roughly 6.5 feet. And of all the creatures out in the wild, we think of eagles as being majestic soaring creatures that inspire awe and pride. But the truth remains that eagles are predators at heart, and they should never be taken lightly when one is around. Typically speaking, these eagles become dangerous to humans. This bird probably wants you dead, especially when you attempt to encroach on their nests or territory. In fact, they have been known to attack humans, so it's best to keep a safe distance and to respect their space. And even though they are carnivorous animals by nature, their habitat makes them shy away from populated areas, and most other times, preferring high altitudes instead. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. The Australian Magpie Although the Australian magpie is generally quite tame, during the breeding season some individuals become aggressive towards any intruders including humans which venture too close to their nest sites. Their peak breeding season is from August through to November. Their nest is a platform of sticks and twigs, occasionally wire, with a small interior bowl lined with grass and hair. The nest is constructed in the outer branches of a tree up to 15 meters above the ground. The Australian magpie females lay about 3 to 5 blue or green brown blotched eggs, with an incubation time of 20 days. The chicks are usually fed by their mother and have feathers that prepare them for flight as early as 4 weeks. Within 2 years, the young magpies are forced by their parents to leave the territory. As earlier mentioned, some Australian magpies can be very aggressive during the breeding season, and attacks on humans and pets will most definitely occur. They are also strongly territorial and will not hesitate to defend their territories both from other magpies as well as potential predators. Unfortunately, some individual magpies perceive humans as a potential threat and accordingly swoop down with a fast warning flight, occasionally making contact. Only a small minority of Australian magpies behave like this and some of these aggressive magpies will only swoop on particular people, so I hope you're not one of them. Number 18. The Cassowary Size and strength are what makes this bird dangerous. They have been known to kill humans with powerful kicks and dagger-like talons that can disembowel with just one slash. They will defend their young if needed and can become very aggressive, especially if they feel threatened. The cassowary is an enormous flightless bird up to 200 pounds and 6 feet tall. This bird is truly a living dinosaur found in the tropical rainforests of Australia and New Guinea. In their native habitat, they are generally shy and will try to avoid humans. However, if they are fed, they can become aggressive. They deserve their reputation as the most dangerous bird in the world according to experienced zookeepers. The cassowary is among the many birds that command respect and awe. There is no doubt that cassowaries can be dangerous. They are large, robust birds that can reach up to 6 feet tall and weigh up to 200 pounds. They have extremely muscular legs used for running, kicking, and jumping on top of victims. Cassowaries can run as fast as 30 miles per hour, easily outrun humans, and jump up to 5 feet. And as previously mentioned, they have a powerful kick, jabbing with their claws like daggers or swiping downwards in a slashing motion. 
They can also readily launch themselves through the air with their claws extended straight out in what looks like a combined karate kick and raptor attack at waist height. The cassowary's three-toed foot looks like that of a dinosaur foot. Armored with scales and huge talons, its primary weapon is its dagger-like inside claw measuring 4 to 5 inches in an adult. And by using this incisor claw, they can stab and disembowel animals and humans with their impressive attack capabilities. Number 17. The Red-Tailed Hawk the red-tailed hawk is the most common hawk in North America. Years of observation have shown that red-tailed hawks can easily mold themselves to any surroundings, but these birds prefer a habitat that is open. Hawks usually inhabit places like deserts and fields, probably to make it easier to find prey. They also like to have high-perching places nearby from which they can watch for prey. In fact, hawks can see a mouse a half mile away. This is due to the many photoreceptors in the bird's retina, an exceptional number of nerves connecting these receptors to the brain, and a small indented area of the retina, which magnifies the central portion of the visual field. What's more is that the hawks can also see in color. And even though red-tailed hawks are known as being violent predators, they actually have a peaceful side. The hawk's main mode of transportation is flight, and they can typically move at 20 to 40 miles per hour. The red-tailed hawks can be dangerous to humans who dare to come to their nest during their nesting season. They can also spread diseases that might be transmitted to humans, which makes them pretty dangerous. However, most conflicts between hawks and humans result in only minor injuries like cuts and scrapes. Generally, hawks are not usually hostile toward people. They only become aggressive when their nests appear to be threatened. In 2006, a red-tailed hawk was reported to have attacked 30 or more people in the Village Greens Golf Course in Woodridge, Illinois. These attacks happened during nesting season when the hawks were particularly defensive of their baby chicks. Number 16. Ostrich Ostriches are seemingly gentle and shy land-dwelling birds. Notwithstanding, their attack on humans and other animals could be very dangerous, especially when cornered, startled, or threatened. If cornered, an ostrich could fiercely deliver dangerous kicks which are capable of killing lions and other large predators in a bid to defend itself. So if it can do so much damage to large predators, then a trespassing human is a total goner. Ostriches are known to have very powerful kicks that can kill a human and enables them to run at more than 40 miles per hour, which should be about 64 kilometers per hour. On that note, ostriches are extremely aggressive and mean during the breeding season and are more likely to attack especially the mother ostrich, who protects her eggs and chicks at all costs. But frankly speaking, these birds are unpredictable and react differently on several occasions. When provoked or threatened, they can be vicious and unexplainably mean. These land-dwelling birds have been seen countless times unleashing their vicious nature on the strongest predators in the wild. Number 15. The Griffin Vulture the griffin vulture is one of Europe's largest birds. They are very impressive and are known as masters of the air. Adult birds are identical with a white head, neck, and feathery ruff-like collar. The feathers on the head and neck are short, with the ruff just above the nape highlighting the long neck of the bird. The back and upper wing coverts are a bold buff brown with the flight feathers and tail being a much darker brown. The underwing coverts are a mid-brown with two lighter buff-colored narrow bands stretching from the scapulars to the alula, which can also be called the bastard wing where the feathers of the bird's thumb protrude. The belly is a chestnut brown and all other areas of the underwing are dark brown. In flight, the wingtips are deeply fingered. Juveniles are kind of similar to adults, although the collar is brown and the back is darker in color. Like other vultures, it is a scavenger that feeds mainly from carcasses of dead animals, which it finds by soaring over open areas, often moving in flocks. It establishes nesting colonies in cliffs that are undisturbed by humans, while coverage of open areas and availability of dead animals within dozens of kilometers of these cliffs is high. It grunts and hisses at roosts or when feeding on carrion. The maximum recorded lifespan of the griffin vulture is about 41.4 years, but the record is for an individual in captivity. There have not been any credible reports of vultures attacking people. Although they are large, powerful birds strong enough to do considerable damage, they probably are yet to evolve enough to tackle large living animals or even humans. Number 14. Crowned Eagle the crowned eagles are beautiful hunters that can prey on antelope more than seven times their own body weight. They can swoop after monkeys and bushbuck at 160 kilometers per hour, then break to a complete stop in just six meters. African crowned eagles were once restricted to the wilderness. 
but their habitat is slowly disappearing. Now they're even spotted in South African cities and have been known to kill human babies. Crowned eagles hunt a lot like leopards. They rely on stealth to get close, then accelerate at speed towards their prey. One moment they appear elegant and beautiful, and the next thing they are vicious and frightening. Crowned eagles usually hunt at dawn or twilight. Their talons are so strong they are able to crush the skull of a 30 kilogram antelope. In one swoop, they can snap the spine of an animal up to seven times its weight. Such sharp talons usually kill prey on impact. If not, the animal dies from asphyxiation or soon passes out from its injuries. Sometimes a crowned eagle even gets gruesome and rams its talons into the skull of its prey, aiming straight for the brain. I think that's warning enough. Number 13. Shrike Shrikes are a very unique species of birds that have made a name for themselves as the leather faces of the animal kingdom. They don't just eat their prey, they impale it on spikes and display it as part of their courtship ritual. While that's already nasty, they have more to it up their sleeves, I mean feathers. Now don't be fooled by its adorable appearance because this tiny bird called the Shrike is known to be a ruthless killer. Despite their deceiving small size, most of them weigh between 60 and 70 grams. They usually catch their prey by surprise, drop pouncing upon them from a high up place. There are more than 30 species of Shrike and Great Grey Shrikes, which are also called Northern Shrikes, can be found in North America, Europe, Asia, and Africa. While Shrikes generally consume their prey within 9 days of capture, they often collect their kill in thorny bushes to stake their territory attract females, and hide food from competitors. Number 12. Marabou Stork The Marabou Stork can also be referred to as the Nightmare Bird or Undertaker Bird. It is, without a doubt, one of the ugliest creatures in Africa which has some pretty gross habits too, like scavenging for garbage and wearing its own feces. But you might not know that Marabou Storks also play an important role in cleaning up the African savanna and that their feathers have been worn by people like Marilyn Monroe. The first thing that you'll notice about these birds is that they're hideous, very hideous. I mean, it's very difficult to ignore it. They also have beady eyes and scabby pink faces with huge gullet sacs dangling from their necks. Marabou Storks also have large black wings and skinny white legs which is part of the reason why they're nicknamed Undertakers. And in case you don't get it, they look a lot like people who work in funeral homes. One warning, they are not friendly but may have grown used to humans. They'll scavenge for food anywhere, and this includes dumps and landfills made by human populations. They're basically familiar with the sight of weird featherless birds scurrying around with clipboards. Number 11. Pelican Pelicans arguably do pose some danger to people, but have you seen the size of those things? Sadly, they're not number one on this list for that, but they've definitely got this spot though. Sadly, they're not the number one on this list for that, but they've definitely got this spot through sheer ferocity. You see, a pelican is universally known as that goofy looking bird with a huge mouth, but there's plenty more to that. Pelicans do pose some threat to humans, however, the research did not show any record of them eating humans. Besides, an adult human is way too big for a pelican to swallow. I mean, isn't that already obvious? So it is pretty much impossible to eat a live adult human, but a baby maybe? I'm just kidding. And I'm sure you've seen the video where the fact is a pelican will eat anything live that it can get into its pouch, down to its throat, and into its belly. Once they figure out something is food, it's either breakfast, lunch, or dinner time. Number 10. The Peregrine Falcon Peregrine falcons are quick, large predatory raptors. The strong, sharp yellow talons allow it to capture other birds even while in flight. Peregrine falcons can be hard to identify because of their quick flight and camouflage coloring. The wings and tail are bluish gray while the back and head are a darker brown. Sometimes the cheeks can have a dark brown tear-shaped mark. The bird's chin and neck are white and each eye is surrounded by a yellow circle. Dark brown bars run across its white chest and if the wings are open, dark brown bars across the wings are also visible. Peregrine falcons are about 1.5 feet tall with a wingspan of 3.5 feet. They also happen to be the fastest moving creature on the planet, reaching dive speeds of about 240 miles per hour. Along with their impressive claws and serrated beaks, they are indeed the ultimate predator. The peregrine falcon is considerably more aggressive and very dangerous since it is responsible for more attacks on humans. Being impressive hunters, they pose a threat to humans. 
Like most animals, we are more dangerous to them than they are to us, and they understandably do their best to avoid us. But when avoiding is impossible because we force our presence on them, they may defend their territory, first with intimidation and last with a physical attack. Larger, more aggressive peregrine falcons may be capable of inflicting serious injury, but this is extremely rare. They just simply want to be left alone. Number 9. Giant Petrel Giant petrels are among the most fearsome of the Southern Ocean's predator scavengers, being notorious for their size, strength, and ruthless behavior. The giant petrel is known as one of the iconic Antarctic seabirds. These powerful, aggressive predators are also sometimes known as stinkers, and the Southern Ocean whalers used to call them gluttons. They breed widely in colonies throughout the Southern Ocean and wander north to the subtropics of South America, South Africa, and Australia. While known for their opportunistic feeding behavior, they are very unique among porcelarids for feeding both on land and at sea. On land, they feed on carrion, often preying or scavenging at the colonies of seals and penguins. Known very well for their aggression, they will often kill other seabirds, especially penguin chicks, as well as sick or injured adults, which are their favorite prey items, while they are also known to feed on albatross chicks. They usually kill their prey either by battering them to death or drowning. At sea, they feed on krill, squid, and fish. Number 8. Spur-Winged Goose The spur-winged goose is the largest waterfowl found in Africa and, on average, the largest goose in the world. And while they may look like your standard goose, they are not at all like your typical Canada goose. For instance, this African variety has spurs on its wings and could sometimes be poisonous. Yes, as I said, they are not like your typical goose. <coughs> Now, when I mention that they could be poisonous, I'm not talking about the typical poison where they inject you with deadly venom and you die a horrible death. Nope, I'm talking about a toxin they pick up from their diet that is stored in their tissue. So it isn't recommended that you eat these odd birds. While I don't believe this poison is dangerous enough to kill a person, I am pretty sure it would be a very unpleasant experience. That aside, the spur-winged goose is a local bird and can often be found hanging out in groups consisting as many as 50 individuals. Number seven. European Herring Gull The herring gull species are most likely to come into contact around the coasts of Europe. Herring gulls are also naturally opportunistic scavengers. They learn quickly where to find food, and their proximity to humans is encouraged by food waste being irresponsibly discarded, for example, at fast food outlets and around refuse bins. Herring gulls, however, do not attack people. They only simply focus on scavenging for food. It's true that some people become emboldened because they have successfully stolen an unattended ship or a piece of fish. Their success in obtaining food in these ways reinforces that behavior, but they will not attack people to get at food. Sometimes they might very occasionally be so bold as to try to steal it from you, but don't take it as them attacking you, they're just trying to be friendly thieves. Like all birds, or should I say all animals, seagulls can be pretty aggressive when it comes to protecting their young. That is when you get too close to a nest site. But this is typical animal behavior. Except in highly exceptional cases, they do not pose a physical threat to people, and the risk of transmission of the disease is very small, pretty much similar to contact with any other wild or livestock animal. Number 6. Swans Let's start with this. Mute swans are one of the world's most aggressive waterfowl species, especially during nesting and brood rearing. They tend to exhibit aggression toward other waterfowl and can displace native waterfowl from their nesting and feeding areas by attacking, injuring, and sometimes even killing other birds. The trumpeter swan is native to Michigan and is on the state's threatened species list. It has been on the road to recovery. However, the increasing presence of the invasive mute swan is threatening the breeding success of this native bird. Mute swan displacement and aggression toward native wildlife frequently occur throughout North America. Some examples include the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, which reported that three pairs of captive mute swans killed at least 50 ducks and geese in a zoo. In another incident, the Maryland Department of Natural Resources has reported records of mute swans killing mallard ducklings, Canada goose goslings, and cygnets of other mute swans. These swans have the instinct to go after all waterfowl species if they are not born into captivity. So basically, this is enough to conclude that these birds have issues and could as well be dangerous. Number 5. Snowy Owl These beautiful birds breed on the Arctic tundra, where females lay a clutch of 3 to 11 eggs. But clutch size usually depends on how much food is available. 
in Wirebot there are lean times, a usually monogamous pair of owls may not breed at all. Like all other birds and animals, parents are territorial and will defend their nests against all trespassers, even humans. The snow owl is a very patient hunter that perches and waits to identify its prey before going in for pursuit. They also have keen eyesight and great hearing, which can help them find prey that is hidden under the thick vegetation or snow cover. The owls deftly snatch their quarry with their sharp talons. A snowy owl's preferred meal is lemmings, many lemmings in fact. An adult may eat more than 1600 lemmings a year or 3 to 5 every day. Aside from that, they usually supplement their diets with rabbits, rodents, birds, and on some occasions fish. Owls don't typically attack humans but will not hesitate to attack a human if they feel threatened or defending their territory. Owl attacks can sometimes lead to minor injuries such as lacerations, bruises, and minor concussions. Generally, they tend to get aggressive when defending their territory or against another species. They will dive bomb humans, particularly on nesting grounds, and have been known to even attack arctic wolves. This territorial phase is very common when it's breeding season. Number 4. Harris's Hawk Harris's hawks can also be bay-winged hawks, dusky hawks, or puko in Latin America. These North American birds are widely used for falconry as they are birds of prey, and as predators they are also well known for hunting in groups. These hunting groups consist of Harris's hogs as well as humans, but their population has significantly decreased over the past few years. In some places, even after the loss of habitat, their population was seen to be undisturbed, but Texas claims otherwise. Left alone, these powerful birds are capable of harassing any animal that poses a threat to their nest. This breed is most notable for its behavior of hunting cooperatively in packs consisting of tolerant groups, while other raptors often hunt alone. Since about 1980, Harris's hawks have been increasingly used in falconry and are now the most popular hawks known in the west outside of Asia for that purpose, as they are now one of the easiest to train and the most social. Number 3. The Great Horned Owl the great horned owls are the ultimate Americans that can be found all the way from halfway to the northmost points of Alaska and Canada, down to the South Amazon Basin. These magnificent predators can live as long as 28 years. The birds of this species demand and are particularly deserving of respect. If you're in doubt, then go ahead and try getting at one of the owl's eggs. Fair warning though, beware of their talons, as they are the most dangerous thing. That and the fact you won't be looking for one when one is looking actually to injure you. These owl's talons are said to exert about 500 pounds per square inch of pressure against your skin. Losing an eye is definitely not avoidable in this case. And if you must know, the strength of the great horned owl's talons is usually compared with that of a golden eagle or that of a German shepherd's bite. These raptors are fearless predators. Predators that are so confident that they don't need to protect the young, territory, or themselves. These owls can and do attack humans when they feel threatened. However, you are absolutely free to disrespect them to your own detirement. They are the only known bird of prey to have ever killed a human being. Yes, the silly dead human tried to get some owl eggs, which skyrocketed into an irreversibly bad decision. The great horned owl is also capable of perceiving your behavior as disrespectful or threatening even when it isn't. All predators in general are territorial, and the great horned owl is no different. These owls are known to occasionally dive bomb humans. If you know well, and well you are in an area where owls are attacking, then you don't forget to leave the house with an umbrella. When it is raining owl talons, an umbrella, thin and simple as one is, can provide a little bit of resistance. Number 2. The Bearded Vulture As implied by the name, this bird has a bristly chin that does not look like a beard. Their wings and tail are black or dark gray, while the head and chest are naturally white. Unlike most vultures, the bearded vulture does not have a bald head. Rather, it's fully feathered, protecting it from the cold. The head is relatively small with a wide, powerful neck. This curious creature known as the bearded vulture is famous amongst animal enthusiasts as the only known vertebrate with a diet that consists of bones. Mostly bones, these red feathered vultures are fascinating and particularly unusual. This unique vulture's diet actually consists of between 70 and 90% bone. Like other vultures, the bearded vulture is a scavenger feeding on dead animals that it finds. But instead of eating the carcass's meat, it usually ignores it completely, preferring to go after the bone marrow. It is not impossible since their beak is specialized to feed this way, and it can swallow bones whole or bite through brittle ones. What's more interesting is that the large bird has developed a way to break the larger, hardier bones it finds. 
It flies up with the carcass up to around 4 kilograms and drops it into the air. The bones will then shatter, facilitating the process of getting to the marrow. Number 1. Northern Gannet The Northern Gannets forage mainly in salt water, though they occasionally pursue fish well into the brackish mouths of large rivers, and wandering individuals have turned up on rare occasions in the Great Lakes or other inland freshwater bodies. They largely avoid Arctic and tropical waters, mostly spending their lives from the latitudes of eastern Canada to the Carolinas. A few gannets are regularly observed in Florida and the Gulf of Mexico. They are uncommon in very deep water, remaining instead over the continental shelf where their main prey species are found. For nesting, they select cliff ledges at the edges of bays or oceans, especially places close to large concentrations of prey fish. Northern gannets are slightly larger and thicker build than Cape or Australian gannets. The northern gannet has more white in the wings and an all-white tail. The other species have black tips to their tail feathers. Individuals on the west coast of Africa could be confused with vagrant masked boobies. Though the latter is smaller overall, lacks the buff tinge to the head and has a black tail. From a distance or in poor visibility, albatrosses can be confused with northern gannets, particularly those with immature plumage that has more black on the wings. But the northern gannet soars on its long wings, scanning the ocean below. Its excellent eyesight allows it to spot a fish at a distance of up to 50 meters. Once it has spotted a potential prey item, the bird retracts its wings and dives into the water at up to 90 kilometers per hour of speed, re-emerging with its prey in its bill. The prey is caught from below as the gannet swims back towards the surface with its wings and webbed feet. A short pursuit may take place if the fish is not caught immediately. More interestingly, the gannet may stay underwater from 5 to 20 minutes and may reach up to 10 meters of depth. Northern gannets mostly hunt in groups, but may be seen hunting alone when far from the colony. That's it for 20 dangerous birds you should run away from. Let us know what you think about this video in the comment section. And if you've probably ever encountered any of these birds, feel free to share. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time.